Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with cruisetipstv.com. We are going to be doing a little series of quick tips here for you. And today's quick tip is all about embarkation day. In fact, we're sharing with you five ways to have your best embarkation day ever. Again, this is not an exhaustive list because today we wanna to keep it quick and just give you five things to think about. The number one thing that we suggest that you do actually starts before you board the ship and that is to keep your carry-on bag light. Why do we recommend doing this? Well, you might be stuck with whatever bag you choose for a couple of hours, and that bag could really, really slow you down because if your stateroom isn't open yet, you can't go drop it, drop it off, right? You might feel a little bit weighed down by that bag. So take only the essentials that you think you absolutely will need, like your boarding documents, maybe sunglasses, a swimsuit, medications, Things that you think that on those that first afternoon of your cruise and during the lunch hour that you really need. If you keep it light, you'll be so much happier, so much lighter. Our number two tip for having an awesome embarkation day is to get that mustard drill over with. Cruise lines are making it so much easier for us now. Gone are the days when we have to go sit in the theater or cram together on a hot, sweaty pool deck, right? Not a pool deck, I'm sorry. You know what I mean, promenade deck. Basically, the mustard drill these days is a concierge experience. You walk up to a couple of cruise staff, they give you a brief orientation on a life jacket, they sign you off, you watch a quick safety briefing on your phone and you're done. Now, why would you want to have that hanging over your head? Just get it done so you can move on with the fun, right? Our number three tip today is to unpack everything before the sail away party. Make it a goal to get into your stateroom and take those suitcases, pop them on the bed. They're gonna give you a nice little cover to protect the bed. Get everything put away. Our subscriber Elizabeth had the best reason for doing this. Not only is it so that you can feel settled into your cabin, there's one other thing that you may not have ever thought of. Sometimes the first night on a cruise can be a little rocky, like you might be leaving some rough waters, getting down to more calm waters, and if you have hangers in your closet that haven't, that haven't had clothing put on them yet, they're gonna sway back and forth and make a bunch of noise in the closet. And Elizabeth made the point, look, I always unpack that first night because I don't wanna hear those hangers swaying around in the closet. Isn't that a good one? I love that. So another clever reason to unpack before the sail away party. Our number four tip is totally up to you, but it's a personal preference that has never failed us on a cruise, and that is to skip the main dining room on night one. That could mean that you might go to the buffet, but for us, we take it one step further and we love to book specialty dining. We like to dress up a little bit so we feel like we're on vacation, right? You've Maybe you've been traveling all day, you feel sweaty, you feel tired, you've been running around a lot. Take a shower, put on some nice clothes, kick off that vacation, and make a reservation at Specialty Dining and you will feel like you are on vacation. It is a wonderful thing, folks. Our last tip for you today is an important one, and that is Embarkation Day can be really super overwhelming. Again, you've possibly been traveling all day, maybe you traveled a long distance, maybe you had a delay with your luggage, maybe check-in was a little bit bumpy, maybe check-in got delayed. There's a lot of stressors. Once you get on the ship, our tip for you is don't try to do everything. You don't have to do everything on day one. Relax, try to find some peace and quiet, maybe settle into your room with a good book and really, really, remember that you have the rest of the cruise ahead of you to get things done and you don't necessarily need to add to that. I think sometimes we sort of add to that frenetic pace of the first day unintentionally by thinking we have to do it all. Have to go on the spa tour, you have to go to the sail away party, you have to walk around every inch of the ship, you have to locate your table in the main dining room, you have to try this restaurant or that. Maybe you don't, maybe you do nothing, maybe you take a nap, Grab a cocktail, grab a mocktail, hang out on your balcony for sail away instead of going to the sail away party. Maybe you think about doing what's right for you and don't wear yourself out. We hope that you've enjoyed these quick tips. We have more coming for you on Embarkation Day because we have a lot more to say about it, but we wanted this to be succinct and quick and fun. Leave your Embarkation Day best practices in the comments below, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.